Hey there, it's Colin Gray here from thepodcasthost.com and today I'm going to show you how to split clips in Audacity. Not only how to split them though, but how to make sure you get no clicks or clippings at the edges, how to make sure those splits are in the perfect place. Let's take a look. Okay, let's look at splitting in the best possible way. There's a couple of ways to do it here. I'm going to show you very quickly how to do a standard split in a couple of different ways. So the very most easy way to do it is to zoom in, to move around until you find the right place, click on the timeline so that you have the playhead in the right place, click around until it's in the right place. You can use the cursor keys, right and left cursor keys to find the exact right spot. And again, I'm going to show you a tip in a little minute about how to find a perfect spot that's not going to click or clip. We'll do that in a moment. But now let's find the place. And all you do is go to Clip Boundaries under the Edit menu and then click Split. And you'll see that's turned to a more solid line. And now if we zoom out again, let's come back out. We can get the Time Shift tool and we can move it around. That's one split. OK. Now, another way to do it is using the selection tool. So if I then select an area on the timeline, I can actually pick out a region. So that first method, if you just want to click uh, split one clip into two parts, you click where you want to split it. But if you want to pick out an area of a waveform, then select it. You can adjust the edges by dragging it right and left. Again, I'm going to show you a trick in just a minute to make sure there's no clicking, no clipping. But right now, just drag it right and left, right and left, find the right place. And then this is the clip I want to draw out. I'm going to go to Edit, Clip Boundaries and Split. And you'll see that it splits on both sides this time. So there's a solid line on the right, solid line on the left. And if I scroll out, Time Shift, I can drag that apart as well. OK, so that's the couple of standard ways to split a clip. Now, the trouble with this is that I'm judging that that clip, that split just by the ideal place to clip it. And that will be where there is no wave. So where there's zero here, it's called a zero crossing where the wave actually crosses the center line here. So here you can see it's pretty much silent. There's no crossing there. If you want to click it, uh, split it during a bit of noise, what you're looking for is where the wave crosses that center line. So you can see that right here, it's a fair bit below the center line. Right here, it's a fair bit above. But right about here, that's the zero crossing. That's where it crosses. This is zero. You see on the left here, zero, one on the top, minus one on the bottom. The zero right in the center, that's where the wave crosses it. Now, that's how you avoid clicks and clips and that kind of that little click when there's a cut and you can cut together sounds, you can cut up words in half without any clicks and clips as long as you cut it on that zero crossing. So Audacity does have a tool that makes this even easier. So say I want to cut it here right in the middle of a sound. It's not usually a good idea, but I'll show you uh, maybe going between words in a minute. But if I do that and then I go to edit, uh, apologies, select at zero crossings and I click that. Now watch this playhead when I click it. So here I go, I'm going to click it now. And that moved. That moved to the nearest zero crossing. So every time I select an area to split, what I'm doing is I'm hitting that zero crossings. And you'll see the edges of this, this select. Watch the edges of this blue region. When I click it right now, it moved. So it went to the nearest zero crossing. And that means that your cuts are going to have no clicks, no clips when it's split. OK, so just a little trick. Audacity has that nice little tool in there, the zero crossings tool that makes it nice and smooth. Now, you'll get in the habit of this. I do it all the time. Every time I go to do a split, I'll select an area. I'll move it roughly to the silence parts. So there's silence on the other side of that. And I'll hit Z. I'll hit Z on my keyboard, keyboard and that makes it the zero crossings. And then I'll do my split and that just makes it nice and neat. Now, the most common use for this, I mean, you, uh, more often than not, you're cutting in quite silent regions. So you're seeing that this is silent here. So you're selecting from there. 
and you're going to here, which is silent. You can see that it's zero anyway. So I'm cutting there. So that's pretty safe. You don't necessarily need to do the zero crossings at that point, but you can do, might as well, just to be sure. But it's when you're cutting, if you're doing some really detailed vocal editing, you're taking out some ums and ahs, let's say, or you're removing a couple of words. So let's say this one here. So this is probably a word that could be an M right at the start, an M mm at the start of this part here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit my Z button, watch the edges. Let's zoom in so we get detail. And you can see it move just a little bit, expand it left and right to just do that. And now if I do my split, I select, sorry, click boundaries and split. I can take that out. I press delete there on the keyboard and that deleted it. And that's it gone and it's split the clip and it will be safely at the zero crossings there. So that is splitting, split the clip and make sure you press Z every single time and that'll ensure that you don't get any of that clicking in between those edits. Those things that make it really obvious you've made an edit and just makes it, you know, a little niggle there that you don't really want. Okay, I hope that helps. Now, just before I go, let me give you one other tip. So Alitu is our podcast maker app that you might find as an alternative to Audacity here. Audacity is great, free tool, it'll do the job. But if you want to cut out a lot of the cleanup, so noise reduction, level, cutting up your clips so that you can overlap the music with the voice, all that kind of stuff. Alitu does all that for you. It does all the noise reduction, does all the leveling. It'll actually fade your music into the voice, add your music automatically every time. It'll publish your podcast for you. Do check it out. If you fancy a look, you get a free seven-day free trial for um, yeah for one week just to give it a go with one episode. So pop over to alitu.com, A-L-I-T-U.com, and you can try it out. Otherwise, thanks again for watching this Audacity video. I'll be back with more very soon. Cheers. I'll see you next time.